Vote again, ladies and gentlemen. Our next comic, our next showcase comic, we're going to go to the bathroom, should we keep it rolling? Don't stop anybody from peeing. <laughs> Gentlemen, who's worked all over the tri-state area, again, I get to see some of these guys for the first time. Just heard one of them work. How about a warm welcome, please, for Mr. Patrick O'Hara. Patrick O'Hara. <laughs> That's the only way I know where to go. <laughs> it's, also, it's also good to be known as the comedian for which the, uh, the host tells everybody they can go to the bathroom floor. <laughs> I'll follow you in there, that's the problem. <laughs> I don't know if to the bathrooms here, but they have really good acoustics. I don't even need them. <laughs> so, anyway, no, thanks for not going to the bathroom. Unless it's an emergency, I have hall passes. <laughs> anyway, um, it really bothers me that you don't really need to be qualified for anything to become an ologist now. Like, you can just add ologist to the at, to the end of whatever you do, and that makes you an expert. It's like, a mix, uh, mixologist who knows how to mix drinks. You're not a... Are you a mixologist? You are. All right, well, don't get into the floor, because seriously, a mixolo you know what a mixologist is? A 29-year-old frat boy. <laughs> I hung out with that guy when he was in college, and he was like, dude, I'm going to mix uh, rainwater with vodka and pain. <laughs> but then there's, like, sexologists, too, or sluts. <laughs> I mean, I'm a pretty good dude, but like, you won't find me calling myself a handsome, pretty funny, smart, good looking, cuddly ologist. <laughs> I just can't get a card that's long enough that's not like a poster board. So. Um, I used to hang out with this uh, white dude that was, he would pretend like he was black. <laughs> and uh, he would, they used an awful term, a very derogatory term towards him. They used to call him a wigger. And uh, I am all about equal rights. And I was like, guys, please sit. Thank you. Right. <laughs> I was like, guys, please, can we start calling him a African American, please? <laughs> <laughs> Um, I had to get a colonoscopy a few weeks ago. <laughs> Bald Patrick Sharp is heckling me. Oh, wait. I'm sorry. Oh, you threw your voice. I thought it was the guy behind you. <laughs> oh, he is wearing a black box head. So, I mean, I just assume anybody, I just assume anybody wearing a black box head is a Patrick Sharp. Patrick Sharp plays in the Black Hawks. <laughs> you follow me on Twitter. I'm going to hashtag this set with Black Hawks. <laughs> well, I, middle, I was in the middle of a joke, wasn't I? <laughs> anyway, I had a colonoscopy a few weeks ago. <laughs> Which, that in itself is just funny because I didn't need it. I just like to see what's going on up there every once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> but like, the doctor stopped like halfway through because my insurance only pays for semi-colonoscopies. Sometimes as a comedian, other people will tell similar jokes to me, and then they'll come up to me and tell me how I stole their hilarious joke, which isn't true. I'm just doing stand-up karaoke, so. 
I don't know if you guys, they've had these signs up on the expressway now for a couple of years, but it'll tell you, it says, there have been 532 traffic deaths. And it says, like, start seeing motorcycles. Like, apparently people aren't, are, are hitting motorcyclists for the most part. But I see motorcyclists. They were the ones speeding past me and weaving in and out of cars and shit. Yeah, I'm going to hit them with my car. <laughs> probably stab them. <laughs> but then there's like another one. It'll say, there's been 532 traffic deaths. Don't text and drive. But feel free to read this sign notifying you. <laughs> I'm a man of the people. <laughs> One time, I went to a really bad strip club, and uh, all the strippers like wore pasties. And they charged you like eight dollars for a drink, no matter what you got. Like I, I drink like Diet Coke in the water, and I had to pay eight dollars for it. But the stripper, it was weird. She got down on her knees and started faking a blowjob, which I've never had an improv blowjob before. <laughs> So I didn't know, like, what's the end game there? You know, like, she was just going at it. Like, it was like a real blowjob where it's just like, okay, what's happening here? <laughs> like, You're just supposed to ride with my penis. <laughs> you know, me, I don't know. But, so I didn't know how to finish it. So I just went like this. <laughs> and you have six months to live. What does that mean? Should I prepare for six months, or do I live for li forever? I don't know. That's okay, I hate that joke, too. Um, as a cheap comedian, I've, I've managed to convince my girlfriend that going to the pet store is a date. It's like a zoo, they got birds and rats and cats and dogs sometimes. But like, I walked in one time and, you know, they had dogs there that they were featuring and the dogs were behind these glass cages and they looked very docile and Sarah McLaughlin was painting in the background. <laughs> I mean, she was actually in the store. She's got zero things going on right now. <laughs> and, uh, but then, like, me and the, the girlfriend wanted to take the dog out to play with it. We're just not selling the dog at all because the thing started biting me. And the stupid pet store person was like, oh, he's just discovering his teeth. I'm just discovering my hate for dogs. <laughs> <laughs> but like his eyes got really red and he can talk. He talked to me and he was all like, I'm going to fuck all your shit up. <laughs> Take me home, everything you love. Kids, your iPad, this girl here, your girlfriend. I'm going to fuck her up and chew her face off. She's not going to be attractive anymore. And I was like, no thank you, dog. Um, there's a new trend. It's not really a new trend because I've been telling this joke for like a year and a half now. But it's called bejazzling, where women um, like bedazzle their vaginas. Like put like jewels and Glitter, you? No. <laughs> All right. That's why. That's why I've been having to shield my eyes over here this morning. <laughs> I don't understand the purpose of bejazzling, though. I've never once went down on a girl and was like, "I'm sorry, I can't. I can't do this." It's, seriously, it's like just hair. And skin. <laughs> I want my name like 
bedazzled into your vagina, and I want to have to shield my eyes down there. Like, I, anyway, damn, I should have done a different show because that would have been better. But anyway, I'm Patrick O'Hara. <laughs> Patrick O'Hara. Yeah. 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 Yeah.